Hello, welcome by a new video about Julia. Today we talk about numbers in Julia and especially about the different types that can be used to represent numbers in your computer. Uh, let's um, first check uh, the types to use uh, to represent integers. So if we type subtypes integer, we see that there are um, three different types of integers. You have booleans, signed uh, integers, and unsigned integers. Uh, we will not uh, talk about unsigned integers. You can uh, explore them yourself. Um, well, uh, a, a boolean uh, has only two types, so uh, true and false. So if I type x is true, type of x, oh, it's a bool. Well, um, that check all the subtypes of signs, subtypes, signs, and signs is an abstract type. So there are no um, uh, concrete objects with the type signs. It's always um, a subtype of signs. Well, you have uh, the following uh, types. You have the big ints, uh, int 128, int 16, int 32, int 64, and uh, int 8. But the number here means the number of bits that the computer uses to, rep to uh, represent uh, the number. Uh, the bigger the number, the, uh, of the more bits you use, the, the, the higher the number can, that can be represented. And also, um, the more storage your computer has to use. Um, if you have a 64-bit system, um, int is the same as int 64. So that's a convenient uh, alias. And if you have a 32-bit system, then uh, int is equal to int 32. And if you don't know uh, what your uh, what what for system you have, you type sys dot uh, size, and uh, Julia tells you what type of system you have. Um, well. Um, if I just uh, type x is, uh, for instance, uh, 56, then um, standard that is an uh, int64 type. If I want to make uh, integers of another type, I have to do that explicitly. So if I do int is, if x is int 8, 127, and y is uh, int 8 1 and it do type of x it tells you it's an int 8 and if I do x plus y a surprise happens it tells you it's minus 128 and that's not true but that happens because there is an overflow um, 127 is the biggest uh, positive number that can be represented by an int 8 and if you uh, add one number, it goes uh, um, f uh, to the to the smallest representable number. So it's better to use uh, normal ints. Uh, then uh, this doesn't happen. Well, at a bigger number. Uh, if I do um, type max int eight, tells me that 127 is the biggest representable number. And if I uh, do 64, for instance, well, it's a much bigger number. And if I do type max uh, in 64 plus one, uh, then it is equal to uh, a type min uh, int. Yes. So you should be careful. Um, if you uh, need to work with really big numbers, you can use the big int uh, type. Big int one. If I do a uh, big int uh, type 
max uh, int plus one, then uh, you don't have a, uh, overflow. Only the drawback of big ints is that uh, they uh, they are slower. So uh, if, if if in in normal situations, if your numbers are that not that big, it's better to use normal integers. Well, the super type uh, of integer is real, and the subtypes of real that are uh, abstract floats, abstract irrational integers, and rational numbers. Um, well, for instance, um, type of uh, P, that's an irrational number, and if I do, and that's a subtype of uh, abstract irrational. Yes. So uh, a smaller than with double point means uh, this is a subtype of that. Um, sub the subtypes. Well, let me first do the um, uh, the the rational numbers. So rational numbers can be made with one over two, for instance. And um, if I do x is uh, 3, 4 over 8, then it uh, makes it as simple as possible. And if I do type of x, that's a rational number uh, with represented by integers 32. Um, if I, um, if I, for instance, have a is int 8, uh, two and b is int eight uh, one and I do um, b over a and I do type of ants it is now a rational with int eight uh, building blocks basically so this this what you call a uh, parametric type so it's every time a rational number of an, an a rational uh, type, but um, the, it's made from uh, the building blocks are int eight, and here it are int sixty four. Okay, let's go to the apps to the floating point numbers that are numbers to represent uh, real uh, real numbers. So to subtypes abstract. Loads. You see, um, we have big floats as comparable to big, big ints, uh, and then float 16, float 32, and float 64. And this is again the number of bits that the computer uses to represent a floating point number. Um, then there's an interesting function epsilon float, uh, for instance, 64. Well, this is uh, how precise um, uh, six, float 64 is. So this is the difference between the next representable number after one and one. So um, if I do next float 1.0 minus 1.0, it's equal to epsilon float 64. Um, the less bits you use, the, the less precise your calculations are. For instance, epsilon float 32, that's a much smaller number, and epsilon uh, float uh, 16, um, that's an even, uh, even a bigger number. I, I said smaller, but it's a bigger number. So it is less precise. So there's the step uh, between the different uh, representable floats is, is bigger, so your calculations are less precise. And epsilon uh, big floats, that is incredible precise. So, uh, but that has this drawback that Julia uses much more space and um, 
that makes the calculation slower. Um, you can represent, um, you can uh, make float32s with uh, this uh, convenient uh, syntax. So if I type 34f2, it makes uh, um, a tri the number 340. So if I is this is, if this is equal to 340, it tells me true. And I can make, uh, so if I, I type off 3.4 F2, it tells me this is a flow 32. And similar with, with uh, int 64, I can make this with, uh, with an E instead of an F. I do type of ants tells me it's a float 64. But standard, if I, uh, uh, it's, it's our all float 64s, at least in my system. I don't know about 32 uh, bit systems. Uh, if I make an, uh, oh, and then big floats. So if I do big floats P for instance, it stores the number p as a big float and you see it uses many decimals or i can make i can also make it with uh, this macro big and then as a string the number i want to represent and you see it is incredibly precise um and if i do uh set is uh big one for instance and I do type of Z, it makes an epic int from this. The type min of float to two, for instance, that's minus infinity, and then of type 32, and type max is, uh, for instance, uh, yeah, let's try 16, it is infinite. Uh, of type uh, six, uh, six, uh, load 16. And the super type of uh, real, that is number, and the super type of number is any. The super type of any is any. You can't go higher than that. The subtypes of number are complex and real. Well, complex numbers I can make with uh, this syntax 2 plus 3 e i n. That is uh, a complex number. But you can also make them with the function complex 2 3. And according to the documentation, it's better to use complex uh, the complex function in um, uh, when you are defining functions seems to be more efficient than, than uh, this syntax. Uh, I don't know why, but I, I read that in the documentation. Uh, if I do I am, so uh, the, com the imaginary number minus uh, I, not minus I, but I, and do uh, square that, then I get minus one. Um, If I do a square root of minus one, I get the domain error uh, because uh, uh, Julia tries to be um, type stable so that every time uh, the function returns the same type of the method. But, uh, so I first have to make a uh, complex number from it, uh, 0 dn, and I get uh, the right, right number. Okay, that was, uh, that was it. Um, let's go to the exercises. Draw with pen and paper a tree of all number types in Julia. So going from uh, a type to its subtypes. 
use subtypes and supertype functions. Um, I um, made a beginning, uh, so the, the highest uh, type is number that has subtypes complex and real. Um, now, and then you have to, to finish this, uh, this tree. Um, so that is one of the exercises. Uh, the second exercise, what is the greatest and smallest numbers that can be represented with int 8, int 16, int 32, int 64, and int 128, use uh, type mean and type max. Uh, the third exercise, what is a 10 uh, dot zero? Here the dot zero is important, so it makes a floating point number from 8 to the power 3. What is epsilon? Uh, 10.0 to the power uh, 6 and 10.0 to the power, power 9. What does it mean? And uh, look for the documentation or use the help function of Julia. Uh, what if you convert this to a uh, floating uh, point 16 uh, types? Um, what, 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 what are these values then and why is it? Difference. Okay, good luck uh, with this.